how to combine endurance and street lifting in one athlete. We had an awesome interview with Nicola from the YouTube channel Back to the Basics. After the great feedback for the interview with Urosh Ashke, we are now happy to have the second leader of the YouTube channel here, Nicola, who is sharing a lot about his workout, about his nutrition and how it's possible to combine street lifting and endurance in one workout schedule. When you have a very strong mental strength, you will pass every challenge in your life. Again, you can find all the topics that we talked about in the YouTube chapters and in the YouTube description. Enjoy the advice from this beast. Yo, Gorillas, welcome to the Athlete Insider Podcast by Gor Nation. My name is Phil, and today's guest is the Serbian street lifting and endurance beast, leader of the YouTube channel Back to the Basics, Nikola Vejnovic, which also known as Kines. I hope I hope that I pronounced the name approximately right. Welcome to the show, Nikola. It is good. Uh, it's nice to be part of the interview with you. Thanks for taking the time. How are you today? Very well, very well. And uh, I, I am always something like that. You? Awesome. Yeah, everything is good. We don't have, like, it looks that you have really good weather in Serbia. Is it right? Yes, yes, it, yes, yes. It's, it's, uh, it's sunny day, yes. Wow. Okay, here in Germany it's only raining. So, uh, yeah, happy for you then. I know, I know. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah, let's start with the interview. Um, how do you present yourself? Who are you? What do you do? Uh, when we talk about uh, the calisthenics, that is, uh, I can say, uh, one of the most important thing in my life. May maybe I can say the most important because I, um, I, I spend too much time thinking about it without time doing it after, after training before and, and so on. Uh, my name is, uh, as you can, as you can say, Nikola Vejnovic. Uh, nickname is Kines Vejnovic uh, uh, for strangers, and um, uh, I can I can present I can present myself myself as a, a man who is uh, very consistent and dedicated and dedicated to things that uh, he is interested in, and uh, he uh, doesn't doesn't uh, interest it. Um, at all for things that um, isn't uh, in interesting at all uh, for me personally. Okay, so you're somebody. If you do something, you do it with one hundred percent. You do it. Uh, you do it with full energy, right? Yes, yes, yes. That, that, that's the way you can say that. Cool. Uh, nickname Kines. Uh, do you want to tell us the story? Because uh, when we did uh, the interview a few weeks ago with uh, Urosh, uh, people asked, yeah, interview the Chinese. And I was uh, asking myself, who is the Chinese? And uh, <laughs> like now you said uh, Kines is your nickname. And uh, in Serbian, yes. it, means, it means the Chinese, right? Yes, it means the Chinese. When I was uh, very young, at, uh, at my uh, seven years old, I uh, was in school and uh, uh, I have some, uh, I don't know how to say, long, uh, long, uh, long hair, but... Uh, uh, really thin. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, yes, thin. I don't know how, yeah. Uh, yeah. how it's named. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, other other kids uh, think thought that is uh, something like uh, Chinese people uh, have always, and that's uh, that's a mistake. That's pointless. But that's the reason why uh, they started to call me Kines and Chinese uh, when we talk about English, uh, and I started to fight them with my head, and that's the reason why uh, they increased to call me Kines, and after that I. Uh, I, uh, I I start to tool out my nickname. Okay. Wow. And uh, how old are you today? I am 24 years old. Okay. And how heavy? Like how many kgs? Now I, I, I am uh, 87 kg. 87. Wow. And yes. uh, I'm, on, on how... I, I'm on cut. I, I was uh, heavier. I was 90, 91, 92 kg when, uh, when I was winter. And how many uh, kilogram? Uh, sorry, how many centimeters? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> my height is uh, 182 centimeters. Okay. Wow. So uh, you're like really heavy for your for your height. Yes, yes, yes. I have a very big appetite, and I think I it's the main reason why I heavy. And I uh, train hard all the time, and that's the reason why I'm not fat. I think uh, when I uh, finished my uh, um, I, I stopped to work out. I think I I, I would be fat. <laughs> Okay. So for you, it's easy to gain weight, but uh, more difficult to, to lose weight. By genetic, not. I okay. was very thin. I was very thin. But I, um, uh, for example, seven years ago, I wanted to uh, gain uh, mass. Not muscle mass, but mass. Mm -hmm. Is If it's fat, it's uh, good. Because I was uh, 63 kg. And uh, after that, my metabolism is changed. And that's the reason why I, I now can uh, get mass uh, very easy. And uh, the other thing is my appetite, which now is very, very big. And I can, uh, I can eat everything. <laughs> so you say that it's possible for a, for a person who is like more thin and who is, has more difficulties to gain weight to change his metabolism just by um, uh, like getting Eating his body... More. By eating more over eating a long more. time. Yes, then. yes, yes. Okay. Yes. When uh, when my body said that's enough uh, of uh, food, I I I, I ate twice. After that, I uh, I ate twice that. Wow. For example, if it's good for me to eat uh, six eggs, I ate twelve eggs, and so. On. <laughs> <laughs> and but you do this for your performance, or do you think that's that's healthy? No, then that was uh, six, seven years old uh, ago. I I only wanted to be uh, more more massive because I was a uh, teen, and now I I can uh, I can increase my mass and I can go down if I want. But uh, for my mind, it's more difficult when I should go down because of i uh, because of loving of uh, eating uh, very much food. <laughs> And do you eat uh, clean or do you also eat uh, junk fruit food? Uh, when it's winter, I I eat what I uh, what I love. If it's cheap, I eat cheap. If it's not, I eat clean. But uh, when summer starts or before summer, for example, two two months before, um, for, for, from uh, from April. I started to eat more clean, and about uh, on uh, June I eat completely clean, and that's uh, that's last three or four months. And after that, again I I, I eat what I love, and that's the reason that repeat. Cool. That's the thing that repeat. Yes. Nice. Um, we will get into detail also for the nutrition uh, later and for your diet. Um, first of all, tell us the story. How did you get in touch with the sport? How was how were your your beginnings in in calisthenics? Um, yeah, maybe you want to start really at the beginning of your of workout. Uh, I started training on May fifth, two thousand thirteen. At first week, I started with three sets of twenty push-ups and. Uh, Soon I do more and more sets, and after two weeks I did 50 sets of 30 of 20 push-ups. Uh, after that, I decide to uh, decrease number of sets and to increase number of reps, and uh, I started to do uh, three sets of 35 push-ups with uh, pause about uh, one minute and 30 seconds. I think uh, whenever I increase reps by five number. Uh, five reps, I uh, increase pose for 30 seconds, I think, if I uh, memorize it uh, good. Uh, in the main, main time, I started with pull-ups. At the beginning, I could do five pull-ups with bad form and uh, started doing Armstrong's pull-ups plan. That's for beginner, the best pull-up plan. Uh, after eight, eight weeks, I could do 23 pull-ups also with bad form uh, because in, uh, in six, uh, five to six last reps I was climbing uh, and I didn't go all, uh, all the way down. Uh, 
uh, also with Bef and uh, about 60 white push-ups with uh, form bad, but not that bad. Uh, and my training for push-ups was three sets of uh, 50 to 60 reps. Uh, one year after I started calisthenics, I I know that I did 60 reps, but uh, in, in in time between, I'm not sure, uh, with three minutes less rest. Uh, I was doing that kind of training all the time until I met Ashke one year uh, after I started with calisthenics. Uh, at that time, I already could do five muscle-ups with uh, only one rule doing uh, in uh, my both arm transition. That was the rule for muscle-up. Climbing is uh, something that I can, it's good in this period of time. Uh, and after I met uh, Ashke, who already was beast in every sense of the world, uh, I started doing uh, endurance workouts with pretty fast gave me uh, great physique and my endurance was sing significantly improved. There's a short story. After that, I started uh, doing more and more endurance. And uh, last winter, I started with uh, with absolute strength and so on. So uh, just last winter, you started with the one rep max or like uh, absolute strength, max strength? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Last and winter. I can, I can imagine that you progressed really fast because you had a really good basic uh, strength from, yes, from the endurance, yes, yes. right? Yes, yes, but I made some difficulties about uh, my training plans because I wanted to be, uh, for shortest time, to be to, to reach something very great. Um, mm -hmm. There's a mistake. I, I knew that the mistake when I started that, but I was thinking about uh, probably I, I will do it, uh, for example, eight weeks, and after that I will do uh, some rest time, which uh, which will me recover enough. But I'm uh, I was wrong cal calculated so you mean that you injured yourself or that you uh, made less progress yes 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 i i have uh, an injury not bad injury but the injury which is enough to uh, that i must stop doing that uh, i have an injury in my brachioradialis or right arm and uh uh, I I started with one rep max of uh, 95 kg on deep, and after uh, eight weeks, I, I could do uh, 110 kg. Uh, and for pull ups, I started with 60 kg max, one rep max, and after uh, eight weeks, I could do 65 kg on rep max with training form. Um, and uh, there, there was uh, that there was that uh, injury, and uh, recovery of that injury uh, uh, lasts for I think six weeks. Wow. And after that, I started again. Yes, I lost uh, too much time because I made that mistake. So if you could go back right now or give advice to the people listening, it would be to have more patience and to start slowly, like in small to, steps. I can, I can say that uh, the, the, the more important is to the workout plan uh, make for, uh, from your head, not from your uh, wild body, hungry for strength or mm -hmm. so on. Okay, so like making really a smart plan with uh, realistic and not optimistic uh, goals yes, and, yes. and numbers. Yes, I did, I did it after that and uh, everything was uh, better, much better. But after uh, 13 weeks, I, I did uh, only workouts for absolute strength, one rep max. I should uh, test myself again and uh, I could do... Uh, before that test, I could do 115 kg on dip. And uh, uh, a few days bef uh, before, on my regular uh, workouts, I, I did uh, four reps of 150 kg on dip and uh, in last set, and seven reps with 100 kg. And I'm 100% uh, sure that I can, do, uh, can go up with 120 kg and maybe can go up with 100 25 kg but uh, one day before i should uh, try my new personal best uh, i filmed the uh, 
new uh, video on my YouTube channel where I did uh, 900 push-ups and that killed my body. I have a very big muscle pain that, which, uh, which lasts for seven days. Uh, honestly, I, could, I couldn't uh, go up from my bed with, uh, in push-up uh, position. I should roll to my back and do crunch. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was very very uh, big muscle pain pain and uh, after that i try and i i lose my strength in that recovery process which uh, lasts too long and i couldn't even do uh, 150 kg maybe i couldn't do 115 which i could do six weeks uh, before that but I didn't. I didn't try that because I was upset enough. Because I, I, I didn't success to do 120 kg. Mm-hmm. There's a story. Do you have the situation uh, more often that you're like your uh, because you in in your YouTube videos you do like crazy performances like it's really insane the the sets that you do the workouts that you do and um, do you sometimes feel that your YouTube career is um, slowing down your progress as a as a as an athlete or like um, slowing down the the progress that you make. Yes, yes, yes. I know what uh, you want to say. Yes, but uh, well, uh, that was uh, in that in that situation. I knew that uh, uh, in situation that someone else uh, want to get advice for me. That uh, is it good to do nine hundred push ups one day uh, before they should test. I, I I would say it's. It's uh, pretty crazy, it's, uh, yeah. stupid, and uh, I did it. Uh, now I I, I couldn't uh, believe that that I did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, another question that I have, like, um, you do street lifting and you do like like a really one rep max or like uh, f- low rep numbers, high high um, high uh, weight. Does it do? Um, intensity uh, and on the other hand you do like really high volume with endurance um, does do th- how is it possible to combine these two things is it uh, do, is it your long-term goal to combine both uh, now I started for yeah from yesterday I started to combine that I make a hybrid workout plan for uh, for street lifting and uh, endurance but before that there's there's the reason i had i had uh, that mu- that much muscle pain i didn't uh, do high reps for seven months um, and uh, now i will uh, do two workouts for uh, absolute strength two for endurance in upper body one for leg absolute strength and uh, one for uh, which for leg which uh, will have more volume Okay. And do you think uh, you will progress quicker with the combination of both? Or do you think uh, it will go slower, but you will uh, grow in both areas? I, I think that um, there, there are pros and cons, but uh, I think that uh, when, I, uh, when I do all the endurance, I have a pain in my tendons and so on. When I, uh, when I do only... Uh, training for, for one rep max uh, I have for example uh, problems with my uh, recovery time that I, I, I uh, didn't recover enough to do uh, good enough next workout something like that that's a problem and I think when I combine uh, that two things but uh, work, workouts shouldn't be 100% every workout from 80 to 90 percent is good enough for every workout 80 to 90 percent yes and uh, when we test ourselves uh, it can it, it should be go to 100 percent and uh, a few uh, for example two weeks before one week before uh, we should start the, uh, that's the time when we should go to 95 percent okay interesting so um, yeah, let's go back to your beginnings in in uh, in, in the sport. Um, so you talked about uh, your first muscle up. Um, how long did it take from the first workout ever to the first uh, clean muscle up? 
uh, uh, for the first muscle, muscle up with both hands transition. Yeah. It's the, it took me one year, but I uh, didn't try. When I tried uh, for the first time to do muscle up, two day after that I did muscle. Up. Okay. I think I could I could do easier because uh, when I do first muscle up, I already could do uh, twenty five pull ups with okay. form. Yeah. So um, if you have to give a, a beginner advice to learn the muscle up, uh, what would it be? Uh, we made uh, YouTube videos, two YouTube videos, which is very useful for muscle up. And um, I cannot say something uh, by words. They can uh, go and check the videos. And uh, a lot of people learn muscle up by following that steps we, we show in that videos. Does it have uh, English subtitles? I think it uh, has. Okay, cool. Then uh, we will put the uh, the links in the description so people can check it out. Um, sure. When you started working out, uh, the main goal was to, um, you said you wanted to increase your mass. Uh, like what was the, the, your main goal with working out, with doing calisthenics? Was it to learn cool skills to, uh, I think I can already, I already know the question, but uh, the answer, but um, is, it, is it to have like really high numbers, is it to become stronger, is it to look better, to have a good physique? What was your main motivation to do calisthenics? Uh, at the beginnings, I only wanted to be uh, more massive, and I do. I did calisthenics because uh, I I tried to do uh, workouts in the gym, and after three months of working out in the gym, uh, I noticed that my pull strength was very decreased because I couldn't uh, go up to uh, pull up and uh, uh, hold that for, for example, two to three seconds. I, I could go up and uh, after go up uh, go up uh, uh, go down by because I, I I didn't have enough strength and that's the reason I uh, I chose calisthenics because I wanted to be uh, strong as my body looks okay so when you did your workouts in the gym you already had built a good physique uh, like you already uh, were, were no you know? that And that was uh, six months uh, after my beginning. Okay. Okay. And, and after uh, after I met after I met Ashke, I I decided to go to go only uh, with Kalistens because he uh, he was bigger than me and uh, on about eight uh, uh, percent of mass of uh, uh, body fat percentage, eight percent. And that's the reason why I, I was fat, for example, 15% uh, body fat. Wow. So he motivated, motivated you with his physique and with his performance because he was strong and, and had, um, had a... Yes, endurance, endurance. Infinite endurance, I, I call that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. And uh, did you think in the beginning that you will become that strong, like uh, that you will reach the level that you have today? Yes, yes, yes. For you, it was always possible. It was your goal to become that. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, I uh, now I, th I also think that I will be better and better and better because I know that uh, I will be in the game forever for the rest of my life, and I know that uh, here is a huge uh, space to uh, be better. True. And you you talked about uh, that you have like uh, problems with your tendons uh, when you do endurance, which is something that I hear a lot of times, but and also experience myself. If like the, there is a workout with uh, 700, 1000 reps or something, it's the really problem with tendons uh, is because we do reps uh, uh, with too much explosive power. Mm -hmm. That's the main reason. If we do it uh, slowly, we we didn't have uh, or uh, how to say we yeah. we don't we have, have that. we wouldn't have yes yeah <laughs> okay so so if somebody does a lot of reps but does them controlled uh, he doesn't have problem with tendons yes 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 I, I'm sure yes okay and the explosiveness is because you let yourself fall into the joints or what is the um, what is the reason that the joints hurt for explosive uh, reps uh, when when we 
for example, do pull-ups and do it for with uh, maximal explosive power. When we go down, uh, the gravity will result that uh, our tendons will be uh, tightened too much. Mm-hmm. And when we repeat it uh, uh, very much, too many times, say it, it will it will be uh, it started to be painful and so on. My, my English isn't good enough to <laughs> no, it's to, good. To, to describe it. Yeah. For example, in in arm wrestling, the goal is to um, to strengthen the tendons and to make them thicker and thicker. Yes. Um, yes. Is it yes. possible with uh, and is it the goal for a calisthenics athlete as well? Uh, to have uh, that really, strong tendons, really big, thick, uh, big, uh, strong tendons. Uh, I know that arm wrestling, arm, arm wrestling, uh, have much more uh, problems with tendons. That damn it! Uh, that I, I, uh, I could say that um, it's very good to have uh, strong tendons, but uh, tendons uh, can be improved much slower than uh, muscle and. We couldn't do anything about that. True. That's true. Um, yeah. Um, people also asked if you ever tried um, to do statics or even dynamics. Uh, if you did some some freestyle dynamics, and... not. That, no, no. That, that's definitely not for <laughs> me. But statics, yes. Uh, four years ago, I started with uh, Ashke. We make a decision to uh, learn. To, to learn, he he could do front lever. I couldn't, uh, and uh, we uh, we make uh, we made the decision to uh, I should learn uh, front lever and uh, straddle planche, and he should learn uh, straddle planche. We are both uh, succeed in that uh, in two months, I think. And after that, I could do uh, straddle planche push ups, but uh, when I uh, stopped doing that, I lost everything. And now I co- I can do front lever for about 15 to 20 seconds so every time, but I I don't practice pra- practice that at all. I have a very strong uh, back in uh, that uh, s- central back. Mm-hmm. I have uh, it very strong. I I'm, I I uh, looks like turtle when uh, <laughs> when you look at me for uh, beside me. Okay. Uh, but the straddle planche was uh, is was lost when you stopped uh, training uh, it, right? Yes, after after two weeks, I think I, I couldn't do, and when I. Uh, when I learned that, I could do uh, five seconds, very good form. And after I, uh, after two weeks, I didn't practice that. I lost everything. Do you think it's uh, like everybody loses the straddle planche if he doesn't practice it, or is it because of your genetics that? Uh... I don't think it's my genetic, but uh, I, uh, I, I didn't put enough time to master the straddle planche. I learned mm-hmm. it, uh, for example, uh, on uh, May, and uh, I stopped uh, doing it on June in one month. Okay. That wasn't enough time to master it. Yeah, but still, still impressive. Uh, so um, yeah, Thank again, um, like we we already had a lot of athletes in in the podcast who were like um, big, um, big fans and um, yeah, of of basics, like of uh, that basics build the the base, as 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 it already says, uh, basics build the base for like uh, for good strength for also statics, for example. And uh, if you learned the straddle plant, for example, in two months, if I understood right, um, that's that's this uh, the the proof that's the uh, basic. Yes, strength. yes, yes. It is. It is. It is. I have a very long uh, arms, mm-hmm. and uh, it was easier to me to learn uh, straddle plant because I could uh, go to, with my uh, hands uh, very low. Okay. Ashke Ashke had uh, more problems with that than me. Okay. Good for you. Great. Um, yeah. If if you would have to decide today, um, only reps, body weight reps, or only weighted uh, for the rest of your life, what what would you Oof. choose? Uh, I can I can choose bet- uh, I can choose bet- uh, between uh, uh, in in uh, uh, one thing. Where, where if I do if I choose high reps. Uh, there is great physique, uh, great endurance, great explosive power, and uh, great condition. Uh, 
uh, well, if I choose uh, only street lifting, I will have only absolute power. Uh, and that's the reason why I will, why I will uh, always choose endurance between uh, that. Uh, so like the street lifting uh, doesn't give you the physique that you're aiming for. So great physique yes, means yes, low body yes. fat percentage or? Last summer I, I was, I think, on about nine to 10 body fat percentage and uh, I was on 88 kg. I was looking uh, very, very good, the best in, in my life. Uh, well, I was, uh, when I started to do street lifting, uh, I gained muscle, but I lost some uh, Uh, mass, uh, I gain mass, but I lost some muscles, and that's uh, negative for me when we talk about physique. Okay. Nice. Um, so, um, yeah, we had some. Qu I think we received a lot of questions from young listeners, and uh, one, uh, like a lot of uh, listeners, asked how to gain muscle with calisthenics because it's. Um, I think it's, if you uh, have. If you have big appetite, it's easy. That's the main thing. But you should uh, you should you should do high reps. Uh, training should be very very hard for your mind. That that's uh, that that's the reason why endurance is hard. That's uh, more hard for your mind than the, it's hard for your body. I'm 100 percent sure that is uh, that that is thing the, for everyone else, not only for me. Okay, so if we um, now, if you, you see, if you see yourself now, you were 63 kg, I think you said, uh, as a as a as yes. an adult, adolescent, as a, a young young young. 16 uh, years old. Yeah, 16 years old. Um, so um, back then, it, like it's easy to say, yeah, you have to have big appetite, um, but uh, like um, the the secret formula that you say is high intensity workout so like a high um high workout high um, volume high, high volume, volume sorry high reps high volume high reps um and eating a lot the, this in combination leads to muscle and muscle eating clean yes 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 i'm sure eating clean okay and did you ever have problems like um to eat a lot to eat enough to eat the the big portions even though you didn't have the appetite in the beginning Uh, yes, that was more hard than the workout. In that period of time, to, uh, 2014, uh, I trained uh, uh, from four to five hours a day. And uh, I had uh, five uh, very big meals. Wow. Yes. And w <laughs> was, it, was it the good way? So uh, was it good to work out that much? I think I think it's not because uh, the best uh, athletes now I, I I'm looking at uh, street workout athletes uh, like uh, I I gave I gave them uh, respect not uh, by their looking but uh, by their performance endurance strength and so on and uh, I think that isn't good if you want to be good in street workout in reps in uh, strength. But if you want only to be big, it's good way. Okay. Now I wouldn't do that. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Then we had a person, uh, Ashke, asking, "Do you work out abs?" <laughs> you you uh, also. <laughs> <laughs> he I also... didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't work out. I didn't work out uh, abs while I doing uh, street lifting but uh, i i'm starting now again last summer i did uh, two two workouts per day for my abs wow this summer i will do I, i will do the same stuff you said two workouts per day or yes but that uh, that, that is uh, uh, small workouts okay. eight to ten minutes for my abs On the on the floor, or what do you do for the abs? Yes, on the floor, one workout when I uh, go up from my bed on the floor, and uh, the other after my regular workout uh, on the park, uh, on on the bar, uh, going up with my legs. Okay. Nice. Um, what is your opinion on uh, mobility on stretching? mobility and stretching when when we talk about uh, stretching for a faster recovery 
it's uh, it can be pointless. I'm I'm not sure. I do it um, after every workout, but I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's uh, actually good for uh, recovery faster. I'm not sure. But uh, when we talk about mobility, it's very important. Um, when we talk about uh, push people like me, they are uh, they they have more strength in push. Uh, it's a very big chance to have uh, around the shoulders and that's the reason why you should uh, before every workout uh, do some things about your mobility okay. to, uh, for your shoulders hips uh, knees and so on okay um yeah question from a 15 year old listener we as i said we had a lot of young listeners um mm -hmm. somebody asked is it is it good to work uh, start with calisthenics at 15 years old or is it too early yes. um yeah what is your opinion on starting with calisthenics early is there something that people should uh, take care of um something that people should uh, keep in their mind or can they just do whatever they want to The best uh, gymnastics started for six to seven years old. I think the best uh, period of time for uh, calisthenics is to start uh, uh, when we are at uh, 14 to 16 years old. He is 15 years old. It's, it's good to start. Okay. And what do people have to take care of? Um, because I remember like uh, really bad form, push-ups, uh, hurting elbows, hurting uh, wrists. Like uh, what, what is some advice yes, that you yes, can yes. give in the beginning? But if you don't have enough strength, uh, you, should, you should make some compromise be be uh, between core and your current strength. Form, uh, form shouldn't be uh, dirty that, that, that uh, makes some injury to you. But uh, also form uh, didn't have to be great in every workout, in every set, in every rep. I'm sure 100%. When we, when we talk about the strongest people in this sport, uh, everyone trained with uh, not perfect form. True. Sure. That's really important what you just said that um, because there are a lot of comments for uh, like a bad form or something and it's good to have a training form uh, to uh, maximize yes, the, yes, the yes. strength and to really go to the limits of strength and not only take care uh, of form. But it, the form shouldn't be that bad that, uh, I don't know, the uh, shoulder is in a bad angle or uh, the, the elbows are hurting. You must learn it. Yeah. You, you must learn it. Your, your body must learn it. Uh, what is the form uh, you can do, which isn't perfect, but uh, from which you will uh, get the more gains. Mm -hmm. True. Can you tell us more about your current schedule for the week? So um, you just uh, started with endurance again um, and combining uh, both now. You said uh, two, uh, like uh, you you already told your split. Um, so, so how you yes. split your uh, your workouts? Can you go more into detail? How does uh, uh, an endurance yes. workout look like? How does a weighted workout look like? Uh, Monday is uh, for uh, street lifting that, that is for uh, pull-ups, dips and uh, squats with additional weight um, reps range about uh, three to five reps mm -hmm. uh, five sets for example how, how uh, much rest between the sets? between uh, as, as, as many as you need okay so for example five to ten minutes okay cool uh t tuesday the second day is a uh, endurance workout uh now i i i i, uh, I tried to uh, to gain back my old endurance and i uh, i'm doing uh, old workouts where i have time uh, which was uh, in this period of time when i when i was the, the best when we talk about endurance I, i now i have time uh, how many time i uh, it took for for one workout to me and now i compare doing uh, the same workouts uh, i'm weaker about uh, 50% Wow. Then I, I was, yes, then I was uh, on summer. Third day is uh, for legs, high volume. Uh, fourth day is uh, for pull-ups and dips. And uh, fifth day is uh, again endurance. 
So this is for us. Okay. Can you uh, describe one endurance uh, workout more into in, in detail? Um, how does it look like? Um, no, it, uh... Now, now uh, I'm only doing uh, cyclists. Mm -hmm. pull-ups uh, dips and uh, and uh, push-ups and uh, I, uh, I I'm doing uh, 10 reps uh, and uh, 15 to 20 cycles 10 reps and it's in, in uh, mm -hmm. yes yes it. and is it is it uh, in emom or like how, how much uh, rest do you do no 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 I Uh, I uh, I tried to, to do uh, as fast as possible. Oh, okay. Last summer I could do uh, 10, uh, 10 pull ups, 10 uh, dips, 10 push ups, and 10 squats, uh, 20 cycles for 25 minutes. Now I can do 10, uh, 10 pull ups, 10 uh, dips, 10 push ups, 15 cycles in 28 minutes. Wow. That's very worse. So it's really that uh, the street lifting and the um, low rep range really destroyed your endurance. Yes, 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 yes. Really destroyed. But my body uh, learned that. Uh, my body uh, earned that endurance uh, uh, last year, and I will, uh, I will have back my endurance. Okay. So you will you will become stronger than you uh, were before. Yes, I'm sure. Cool. Because when we when we talk about my one rep max, now I'm stronger. And uh, for example, if we talk about uh, body weight exercise, for example, dip, uh, it's now it's less percentage of my one rep max doing one rep uh, body weight than it was uh, last year when I when I uh, was able to lift 95 kg. Now I am I am able to lift 115 to 120 kg. It's uh, I calcul uh, I already calculated it. Uh, last summer, one dip uh, was forty uh, seven percent, and now it's forty two percent. And uh, for example, my uh, my maximum number in one set dips uh, last summer was one hundred thirty three reps, and now I think it will be uh, over than one hundred fifty reps. Wow! Sounds really nice. That's cool. Um, yeah, um, you're in the game for a long time and you're working out for a long time. You say that you're somebody who is, um, uh, if he does something, he does it for a long time and he's like within it for 100%. But, uh, do you also have these moments where you lose motivation? So what do you do when you lose no, motivation? No, I, I didn't have that moment, uh, for, for last eight years. Wow. So, Because I, I, I'm thinking about training all the time. It's impossible to lose motivation. Why do you think is that? Do you also always have like this big goal where you want to go, or what is? Yes, what? yes, 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 yes. I don't want. Uh, I don't want to uh, waste my time. That's that's something I hate uh, the most, and uh, that's the reason why I I, I was uh, feeling very bad because I had that injury for uh, which uh, lasts for six uh, six weeks when I started uh, with street lifting. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, let's talk again about your diet. Um, can you tell us what you eat in a day? How many meals right now? How, how many calories, etc.? I don't know about calories, about uh, 3,500 to 4,000. I'm not sure. But I, I eat uh, meat, Uh, chicken or uh, horse or uh, uh, I don't know how to say cow, but male cow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, beef, like male cow, beef. Yes, yeah. beef. Uh, and, did I did uh, I understand right? Horse, horse, horse. Is it, yes. Horse. Is it is it normal in in Serbia? Yes, yes, yes. Because here in Germany you don't eat horse. It's uh, like uh, it's uh, yeah. I don't know. In, in, here in Serbia, I'm uh, one of the rare person that eat horse. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, and uh, I eat about uh, five eggs per day with uh, some kind of uh, meat. For example, uh, dry meat of a pig and mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, and uh, I eat 
uh, every 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 morning I eat uh, oats with uh, with whey protein and uh, milk and uh, banana and something. Uh, I, I mix the receipts for that, um, and that's the main things. Uh, if we if we think about uh, if we think about vegetables uh, here are for example beans uh, 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 corns uh, 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 carrots uh, tomatoes uh, cucumbers and so on okay there's the clean uh, food and uh, do you do a cheat day per week or per month or just when you want to? Um, so I did uh, I did a cheat day when we filmed the YouTube video. Okay. And um, that's the one, one time. Okay. Um, yeah, supplements in general. People asked uh, about uh, your supplement advice. I started to uh, use whey protein uh, one year ago. And uh, I think it's very good, but it, it's not necessary. If you, if you don't have uh, money for that, you shouldn't uh, use that. I, I uh, was working out for seven years without that. And I was uh, look good. I was strong. And I, I had uh, endurance and, uh, and everything. That's it. Okay. Did you ever try creatine? No, no, no. That's uh, I, I, I don't know how to say on English, but mm -hmm. that that's the one thing uh, I keep uh, like something can boost me mm -hmm. if I uh, if my strength uh, wouldn't go uh, up, I will uh, start to use creatine. For example, I think uh, it will be in two years. So it's your joker when you stagnate. Yeah, uh, it's you, my you joker. Can... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if, if, if I can uh, tell uh, on that way. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, we also received the question from some people. Um, do you take steroids? Or did you ever no, take no, steroids? No, no, no I, didn't. I, I don't take steroids. And uh, the main problem with street lifting is uh, steroids because I think uh, the strongest athletes uh, use steroids and uh, street, uh, street for cards athlete in general uh, was blamed for using steroids for years. And uh, they, uh, in most of cases, didn't use steroids. But now the, the strongest street lifter... Uh, some of the strongest street lifter, uh, I'm sure they use a steroid and uh, they dirty our sport, which was uh, one of the purest in the world. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's a difficult topic because, um, like, uh, in, in street workout, there is no control, no like, um, no regulation as it is in, in other sports before competitions, for example. Yes, 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 yes. And if it uh, if it uh, started to be some regulation, uh, it always can be cheat uh, with um, some kind of uh, cyclists with using steroid. I don't have uh, enough knowledge about that, but I know it can be it can be done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, we're slowly coming to an end of the interview. Um, maybe you want to share us a little bit. Uh, what are your goals for this year? So we have like uh, right now it's it's mid mid May, so you still have uh, six and a half months uh, or like even more. Yes, uh, uh, to six, six um, and a half months for this year. Uh, what can we expect? What are your goals? Uh, my goals are uh, forty pull ups in a row, uh, hundred consecutive dips in a row. Uh, 150 kg additional weight. On, uh, sorry, 130 kg additional weight on dip and uh, 80 kg ad additional weight on pull up. And if I uh, achieved uh, only one thing of that, I will be uh, how to say <laughs> happy, uh, satisfied. Happy, yes, satisfied. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, we always have at the end uh, quick questions, quick answers. Uh, what is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is definitely pizza. Pizza, nice. Yes. Uh, are you a dog or a cat person? Mm, I I love both, but uh, the funniest uh, animals on the world is, uh, in my opinion, cat. Okay. Cat. 
<laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, do you have a favorite color? Color mm, black. Like That's that. not color, but uh, <laughs> I, I I am wearing uh, black uh, clothes. Okay. Yeah. Me too. Um, uh, what athletes inspire you? In history of calisthenics, uh, there are only uh, one person which uh, is uh, bigger than the others. That, uh, that is Lord Witton. He is huge. He is 90 kg like me, and he could uh, do crazy stuff with his only one arm, like uh, one arm headbanger, if, if you know. I'm not sure. And uh, if, we, if we talk about modern calisthenics, I'm not sure, because uh, uh, here is... We can we, we can uh, speak about mix of uh, few athletes that will create someone. Uh, in my opinion, he is the best. But uh, the closest uh, uh, the closest calisthenics athlete uh, uh, to be the best, in uh, my opinion, is uh, I think Vitali Fashuk. Okay. Nice. Um, yeah, do you have a favorite exercise, a favorite um, skill maybe, but uh, exercise in general? Favorite, favorite exercise. Generally, I liked uh, the pull-up, the pull-ups the most, but uh, I wasn't good enough in pull-up and I decided to do uh, exercise which is uh, better for me and that, that is dips. And uh, now it's my favorite exercise. I like cool. dips. If I if I uh, uh, choose only one exercise, that that will be dip uh, every time. Wow! Do you have a favorite book? Uh, my favorite books I have two: one uh, set of books, Harry Potter, and uh, the other is Da Vinci Code from Dan, Dan Brown. Okay. Uh, do you have a what is your favorite music like your favorite mu music genre so I don't know some kind of hip hop rap I listen to that all the time cool uh, do you have the best calisthenics event you've ever visited of, or you've, you've ever been uh, at? I, 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 I wasn't uh, I wasn't uh, well I didn't visit it but my favorite calisthenics event is Kali Game in German wow Yes. Nice. So you're <laughs> hopefully see you there uh, one one time maybe when we yes, 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 yes. Awesome. I'm sure, hundred percent. And the last question, uh, yeah, what's your message to the calisthenics community? What do you want to tell tell the listeners? I think uh, <laughs> uh, I think the main thing about calisthenics when when we talk about uh, strength and endurance. Uh, I already spoke about endurance, but I will uh, tell it again. Endurance is something uh, which will uh, your mental strength uh, go to the no, no, or lift to the next level. And I think uh, that you, uh, everyone should know, but uh, it's very hard. It's um, more harder than uh, when we use or, or uh, only uh, strength in uh, our trainings. The, uh, there's a thing I think uh, everyone who started calisthenics should know because when when you have a very strong mental strength, you will uh, pass every challenge in your life. I'm sure for that, uh, about that. Uh, and that there's a thing I I think everyone uh, everyone should know. And uh, when you know that, you uh, after that you shows about the strength or endurance and uh, you started with calisthenics so when you do endurance nothing can stop you in life because you have the the mental power um, yes yes i'm sure i'm sure i'm sure awesome yeah uh how can people get in touch with you where do they find you we can put all the links in the description but you have instagram thank you uh i have instagram and uh youtube with my uh big friend ashke uh youtube is back to the basics and instagram is and we keen as double double z awesome and we k i uh, and e double z 
Perfect. We will put everything in the links. And uh, yeah, we're we're at the end of the interview. Before you can uh, say goodbye to everyone, Nicola, and uh, yeah, end the episode. I want to say thank you to everyone listening to this till the end. It's been uh, almost an hour of interview. A really interesting interview. Thanks for sharing so much uh, from your workouts, from your experience. And uh, yeah, it's 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 been thank a pleasure. Thank you for for calling me. Yes, yes, Ple pleasure is is mine. I really hope to see you once uh, in Germany. Otherwise, uh, yeah, maybe maybe in Serbia. It's or possible. It's wherever, possible. Wherever. Yeah. So, um, yeah, thanks everyone for listening to this. If you liked the episode, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have another inter interesting uh, interview guest, leave it in the comments. That's nice. And uh, yeah, Nicola, you can uh, say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye.